The question is, <clears throat> why would I want to change the PCB in the Bosch oven? Well, I've been having problems with this oven tripping the RCD, and I've been trying to find out exactly what the reason was. Unfortunately, right at the beginning, I didn't spot the fact that the PCB, two components of it, were actually burnt. And instead, I went out and I bought a top oven element, I bought uh, a lamp assembly, and also a thermocouple. The lamp assembly and the thermocouple I've placed in the oven. The top heater element I have as a spare. So this is the oven as it was described in AO which I bought in 2018. So what can cause a Bosch built-in oven to trip the RCD? Well it's probably an earth leakage or a dead short circuit. And some of the following are shown in this slide. Uh, possible causes or most common causes. The failure of one or more of the heating elements. Well, I checked all of those and they were fine. Lamp bulb assembly. Well, I've changed the lamp bulb assembly. Thermostat or the temperature sensor. I checked that as much as I can and I've replaced that. Apart from replacing all those three, the oven still tripped. It could be the fan motor but I've tested that and there was continuity in the fan motor. The only thing which I did spot was the control module PCB. Now here is a picture of the front fascia of the Bosch oven. Uh, on the left is the heating option selector. This presses and comes out and from here you can select the type of element or the type of heating you want. On the right hand side is the temperature selector. Now uh, this is basically a potentiostat um, and at the moment the oven is showing just the time and uh, this was before the oven was tripping. The problem I believe was in the heating option selector and behind that lies the PCB. The next slide shows the schematic of the front fascia and the components that sit behind it. Uh, the one which is the switch selector is 0181 and behind that lies the PCB but this is not shown in this slide. This slide shows the, the control module PCB and its position in the back of the oven. Uh, the next slide will show you a bit of a magnified image of this. Now this is the picture uh, magnified of the uh, the control module PCB and up in the tough left hand corner is uh, an image taken from the website showing what the PCB looks like. This is the component which uh, I have bought. This is a magnified image of uh, the new PCB and what I've done is to highlight the components which have failed. That's the two components on the right hand side were burnt out. In this overhead I've put the two things together. On the left hand side you see a magnified image of those two components which are new uh, on, the, on the new board and those are the components on the right which I found on the PCB which obviously had burnt out for some reason. Well this is the, uh, the new PCB fitted in replacement of the old one and this is the old one uh, and you can see the burn marks on the uh, the far component so I believe that I put the wires back in the right positions so I did take a photograph of this at different angles before I took that PCB out because uh, it just looks like a spaghetti junction in there. Um, so essentially that's what I've got. And I have to go back now and really just make sure that all of those clips are firm. And then that's basically all I can do. 
except dry it. Well, oven's back in its position, all wired up with a new PCB. All I've got to do is turn it on and find out what happens. Well, look at that. This is a still image showing the oven and the both selectors are out and also selected and you might just see that the lamp bulb inside the oven is just lighting up the oven nothing has tripped it working well I'm chuffed to bits I've actually managed to solve the problem of the RCD tripping it was the PCB and now that I've replaced it the oven is working and that has cost me a total of about £300, uh, although I have a replacement element that, that I haven't put in yet. But I've, got a, I've put in a, a lamp bulb assembly and also a new uh, sensor PTC, which is basically a thermocouple. So the oven is functioning perfectly all right now. I'll just see how long it lasts for now before I have to buy another oven, perhaps. OK, thanks very much for watching. Bye. Wow, 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 wow,